Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. I'm Siddharth Azra and today we would be discussing check if the tree is isomorphic. So let us first understand what do you mean by isomorphic. So here it is given that a tree, two trees are said to be isomorphic if one tree can be obtained from other by flipping all the nodes. For instance, let us consider the very first example itself or the second given test case to be specific. So let's say the very first one is 1 and this is 2, this is 3 and this is 4 itself. And if you observe, the second tree is something like this. Let me change the color for a better visibility. It is something like this 1, then it is 3, then it is and then it is 4. So now if you observe that the very first one this is equal to this and now here we have 3 and here we have 2. So if we just flip it if 2 is made to here and 3 is made to here. So the scenario would be such that after making this conversion the tree would look something like this. 1 then it would be 2 it would be 3 and it would be nothing but this side that is flipping the bits after this instance if you observe this tree is equal to this by flipping the bits okay so you need to tell whether they both are isomorphic or not so the very first thing that comes to our mind is we need to do this thing. Okay. That is we need to do this flipping. Okay. But the problem is to keep a track. Here if you observe this 2 left side is 4. But when 2 is going on this side 4 is becoming its right child. Okay. So just swapping the parents uh, par subtrees won't work you need to basically flip what do you mean by flip flip is nothing to be honest it is just like the mirror flip okay so what I want to tell you is if 2 is something like here so if it is flipped if it is mirrored then it would be something like this so if you know about this property, then only this question is an easy problem for you. That is why the feedback of this problem would be that if you know the terms like isomorphic, if you know this mirror thing, then it is an easy problem. But a person who is a beginner in data structures and algorithm is won't expected to know of this. So in my scenario, the this problem is not an easy problem but it is a medium level problem okay now let's go back so basically we need to flip it okay so now we need to flip the subtrees okay if the two values don't match if the match it is okay we would go down else we need to flip this seems to be a bit hard thing but if you observe what is our objective our objective is to just know if it is possible or not. If it is possible or not. Not possible, yes or no. This is the objective that is being asked. So what we can really do is, I would kind of suppose that you are a beginner and you already know recursion. That's why you are solving a problem on tree. Okay. So... What I can basically do is, I can do a check. What kind of check? If the, let's say this is root, here, this is left child, this is right child. Let's talk about the second type of tree, which is again root, okay, this is L1, this is L2, and this is R2, and this is root 2 and this is root 1 l1 r1 okay so now if you observe if you observe that this root 
needs to be same why because it can't be flipped so if root is not equal then we would fall out of possibility so i would say root 1 should be equal to equal to root 2 itself this is the very first criteria that needs to be handled the very next criteria is that if let's say this side is null and this side a root is present then also it can't be flipped if this side is not present, like the vice versa of it, this side is not present and this side is present. What do you mean by this? This side is blank and this side has some data D. Then this is not possible even while flipping. And this is also not possible. Okay, the vice versa of it. So I would say if either of them is null. Okay. Then also it is not possible. Okay. If anyone any one is null then it is not possible simple enough case now let's dive into the third case okay so you can see if if the value of r1 and r l1 and l2 is matching there are either two cases either l1 would be equal to L2. If L1 is equal to L2, then obviously this R1 should also be equal to R2. So I would say then R1 should be also equal to R2. This is the very first constant. This is the very first thing. If this is not the scenario, then this would basically flip. So I would say R1 would be equal to L2, R1 would come to L2 and L1 would come to and L1 would come to what R2. Okay, these are the things that are needed. So I can just do a recursive call out of this and this would, are the only three cases that needs to be handled. So we can simply move forward and we can implement this. Okay. So the very first scenario was the observation that the objective is just to know, not to modify the given tree. So we are now focusing on yes or no. If it is yes, then we move forward that what are the different cases? Either we need to flip the bits or either flipping the bits is not needed. They both are seen. Then also it is isomorphic. Some bits need to be flipped. Then also it is isomorphic. If even after flipping this is not possible. Then it is not isomorphic. So the only cases we would see if the values are same. Then it is okay. The values are not same. Then it is not okay. If either of the values is null. Then also it is not okay. If both are null. Null both null tree is a two null tree are isomorphic. Okay. The last scenario is either the two trees would be equal or either one of them would flip like this is L1 this is R this is L1 and this is R1 this is this is L2 and this is R2 so this would just flip so this L2 would match with R2 okay R2 would come here and this one would match with this one so now let us move forward and implement this in action. Okay, this is let's say R1 and this is let's say R2, root 1 and root 2. A little bit lazy, so I like, like the names very short. So if N1, if R1, okay, if R1 is equals to equals to null, if both of them null, if both of them are null, then we can simply say that yes, it is possible. Okay, return 1. Okay, if this is not the case, if either of them is null, like at this point, both are not null. So one of them has a value or both of them has a value. If this is the scenario that one of them has a value, then we would return a false. Okay, here we would say or or. Okay, and this would be false. If one of them is not null and one is null. Okay we would return a false value. If R1 
dash data is not equal to r2 dash data then also it is not possible else in all other condition we would make out two cases this is case one and what would be the value of this case one i would copy this and i would pass r1 dash left okay comma r2 dash left like they don't need to be changed okay and the very next one is the same one okay let's have a full screen editor so the spin the wheel is not blocking our view and this one r1 dash right is equals to r2 dash right okay and then it what is this case this case is for no change no int c2 here i would say a change is required now r1 dash right and r2 dash left r1 dash left and r2 dash right we need to change this and if either of the condition is false then we would return true so we would say return c1 okay we would return c1 or or c2 why because let's say everyone is returning false everyone is returning true but at any point flip is not possible it would be zero so one zero the value would be zero one one the value would remain one that is why we are returning this as the value itself now let us just compile and run and see how many errors are we making okay okay that's it we were able to solve the problem this was not an easy problem again to mention that's it for today thank you and have a nice day goodbye everyone